Welcome back again everyone to Freesia the Emily. We're going to... Oh, 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 oh. Well, we did... Bally, why do you always do stupid things? I don't know. Right. I was... I did end the last video in the, um, ex in the exam room and I thought I'd save all the trouble of backtracking. And before I actually do this, I have to look at that, don't I? Yes, well done, Bally, you remember that. Let's use the crank on this hole. That's what she said. I pushed the crank into the indentation on the pillar. Yay! If it's best, it fits perfectly. It's in there pretty good now. Why? Why would you say that? That sounds completely wrong. There's a crank inserted into the hole in the pillar. Well, at least it's the obvious. I'll grab the crank. Um, let's go this way. I turn the crank to and then part of the roof opens up and a shaft of light pierces the darkness. I turn the crank more and light comes in dimly, leaving that statue. Hmm. Thank you, kid outside. Wait, can I not move it again? But I can't reach the crank. What do you mean you can't reach it? Y you moved it completely fine before. I'm actually wondering if I should have moved it clockwise. I don't know. Warm light shines through the sleep opening in the sun. Yes, that kind of warmth you can't get from artificial light. The light coming through the ceiling reflects off the mirror. The reflected light shines on some of the other statues nearby. Okay, what does this say? The light coming through the ceiling shines on one of the statues. Can we take it? I reach out for the statue that is blushing light. I think I might be able to take this statue. I tried to remove the statue, but I noticed a piece of paper stuck behind the statue. Without thinking, I pick up the piece of paper. As you do. Yay! Memory flashback time! I think. You can't go there. Uh oh. The war ended today. People who were killed by the biological weapons, their purple bodies have been collected at the cathedral. You can't go near them, you'll be infected too. Those collected bodies, they'll be all burned. What are you going to do? No, you can't go there! The least I could do was pray. Prayer. Anyone who was infected would eventually die. The least I could do was pray. That makes sense. That does make sense. Just pray. But... Okay. I open my eyes. Memories rush back into my head the moment I touch the piece of paper. These pages are scattered around the building. Almost like they've been prepared for me. They're encouraging, encouraging me... They're encouraging me to recover my memories. I look at the piece of paper in my hand. Reach music time! Yay! January 29, XX13, the end of war. I don't think that's the right date. The long war has ended. I heard that our country lost. The bodies of people killed by the horrific biological weapons are being brought to the cathedral. There are many purple bodies lying in the cathedral. The biological weapon that put an end to the war was Ipikari. I know I'm saying that horribly wrong, but oh well, who gives a crap a doo doo doos? It spreads from the purple skin of the body, so they must be burned immediately. They, what? But I want to offer prayers for those who went mad, lost their memories, and died. The least I can do for them is pray. I'm guessing this is her diary then. I remember now my memory. Oh, no, you don't. A lot of people gathered at the cathedral. And one second, people let me close my curtains. Why they didn't do that to begin with, I never know. They gathered at the cathedral? They burned the bodies one after another. That's horrible. I offered prayers for those bodies. Ah, 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 ah. The words, the seas and forests are in the journal se se several times. I remember they refer to something called Ipikari. Oh, that's one calling it, calling it, even if it's one or not. I don't give a crap. Right now, I'm too tired. A purple forest that drove people to madness. I'm sure I used to know something about it. Indeed you did. There's more, no mistake, this paper is someone left someone left this here on purpose. Someone is trying to tell me. Whenember, whenember, they say. I take a second look I take a second look at the statue in my hand. I figure in it's a symmetric figure. If I drop it on the floor it'll probably break. How lovely of you to say that. Think about this delicately crafted statue makes me feel some sort of pain. Huh? 
The statue itself feels fragile. I think I would shat. It would share if I dropped it. I've just some thought I decided to take it with me. Okay. Well, let's do the most stupidest thing ever and drop it on the floor. Whoops. I don't think I can... No, no, drop it on the floor. Yes, thank you. I knew there was an option. Drop it to the floor. It shares into hundred of pieces. I look at the statue pretty figure and there was a key in it. <gasps> the cat key! Meow. I decided to take the key with me. Meow, meow, meow. Wait, do I have all the keys now? Keys! I want my keys. Where are the keys? We have the dog key, we have the chicken key, we have the donkey key, and we have the cat key. Then we have that. I think we're done. Yay! Ah, uh, no. Into a statue ball. Great. Since we have all the keys, we can go somewhere. Yes. All the way north. And through that door that had the four keys written all over all over the, all over the place. Right. Do I only want the keys in here? What what's actually in here? What are the keys? Yes, I know there's a buddy in the darkened room. It doesn't seem that dark, but okay. Okay, there's a key in you. It says F to the next to the switch. Wait, you're the only one not on. Alright. It's this. Okay. Alright, alright, let's leave this alone, Fernand. Since I have all the keys. I was just wanted to double check while I was here. I probably looked at that completely wrong. I could use an elixir and grab another, but I really can't. I'm, I'm just being lazy. Now, I want to look at this body again before I do this. That doesn't actually show on the screen, but a question mark. Right, you. They're, they're buddies? I only see one buddy. Alright. It looks like it was. Right, right. Wait, he was. He, okay, he was infected. What about his hand? There was one in his hand, wasn't there? From the bottom? Donkey, dog, cat, chicken. It actually tells you the order there. God. Okay, that was easier than said than done. Yeah, let's not stare at the body anymore. Alright. There are four keyholes. This still looks pretty sturdy. Right. What went first? I've literally forgotten. Alright, let's just give this a shot for now. We out just going back and forward. New stunky key. I insert the donkey into the key and turn it. The lock clicks open. Yay! That's one correct key. Then I think it was the cat. I turn the key but the lock doesn't open. As I finish turning the key, the locks keep closed. The key I put in the key will force the throat. It looks like I need to start over. Maybe I've to open these locks in some order. Well, then I do crap. Wait, no. Donkey Key, you first. I know that much. Yep, yeah, it keeps open. Was it chicken then? No, it wasn't. Alright. I guess it was the dog. Let's check the body again. Because I'm mostly being stupid here. Stupid badly, stupid badly. Yes, yes, you should know you can. Now look at that note. Yeah, blah blah blah, yeah, yeah. Okay, dog, cat, then chicken. Right. Got it, got it, I got it in my head now. Got it, got it. Donkey, dog, cat, chicken. I said he won't have an eye. Right, you first, donkey. Yeah. I'm quite confident I know the order now. Yes. Yes, that works. Um, now the cat one. Yay, we're almost done. And now for the chicken key. Yay, we're done. Yes, you can open all the locks. Now you can open it. The lock, the door has been unlocked. I open the door. A spiral of spurt st staircase stretches up in front of me. We're going up a floor. 
A Geisha palette. What will I find? What will I find out if I keep going up? I'm having a little trouble keeping my balance, but I step in onto the stairs and begin climbing. I'm sh I drag my bruised and broken body up the stair staircase. There's a piece of faded paper on one of the steps. Almost like it was meant for me. I pick up the piece of paper. Oh goody. Wait, there, there's no flashback? I'm shot. September 19th. Red beads in the storage room. I heard a noise, so I opened the door to the storage room. Red beads covered the wall, wall, the walls, the ceiling, even the floor. They were really, really scary, but also somehow familiar. I went away. I went out of the storage room as fast as I could. I'm scared. I want to see Mother. Oh, God. Oh, of course, there's going to be a flashback. Where are you, Mother? I hear something squirming. Uh -oh. Mother! Mother! Where are you? Mother! Mother! Are you in here? I hear something squirming. Oh god. Oh dear. So what are those red beads? What are they? Red beads? They're moving! Oh dear. I honestly have got no idea what the hell they are. What are you still doing up so? Late? Oh. Looks like they got out again. Did they surprise you? This isn't the first time that they've gone out. Oh. I'm talking about these wet creatures, of course. She looks completely creepy, I must say. The ones are over the walls. I have to collect, collect them now, or they spread everywhere. Oh, these children are called. Fr They're called Farisha. All right, all right. That makes total sense. Farisha, the name of the game, is apparently a lot of wet creature bugs beads. Anyway, something the matter. It's quite late for a child. You can't sleep. Oh god, she's creepy. That's just creepy. Creepy! Images from my memory went through my head. I'm still unconscious as I slowly climb. Wait, what? This bad body is so heavy. I can't even remember who I am. I just want to close my eyes and forget about everything. But my memories are little by little are coming together like a jigsaw puzzle. Jigsaw. I said jigsaw. The pieces of my memory are scattered throughout this building. I've. I've been in this place. I lived here. That's why I remember Farisha. Those screaming red beads. I've seen them all over this building. They're called Farisha. Yay! We have a name for those red beads. And it asks me to save. Lovely. Because I know why. Just wait for the music to play. Yes, the second stage, everyone. We're now in the second stage of the game. God, dependence. Spooky. The how? I reach the top of the stairs and a whole new floor spreads out before me. It looks like, it looks like some kind of lab. There are bizarre traps set all over this building. I'm not alone in this place. The traps are hungry for my blood. My memories are waiting for me. I must be here for a reason. Ah. Well, don't show that face. Ah, it's getting clearer. That woman's pretty sent. It smells good. The smell calms me down. That's what I'm scared of. I'll come to. I feel a shiver run down my spine. The thick smell of blood and wine fresh fills my nose. It makes me feel good. Good? No, there's no way. That's horrible. I don't want to feel that way. I take a deep breath to clear my mind and slowly step forward. Uh oh. Oh god, well, why is it playing this music? Oh god. God, my, my eyes. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna save it here for now, people. Yes, I know I just saved recently, but oh well. So when we come back, people, more for Isha, dear Emily. Until next time, stay you. What will we find out in this creepy white black clean place that blinds me? Uh, we never know. Till then.
Bye-bye.